with the Miraco, you've got um, Mika Reyes and Liz Kulertan in front. Effective din yun kasi magaling si Mika sa gitna. Tapos si Chuck Cruz tutulong sa likod. Yes. And hey, Kim Fajardo, denying entry. Ito si Kim Fajardo, hindi na magaling na setter and server. Blocker din, gumaganap din siya dyan ng very wonderful role. Mukhang nakikinig na maigi ito kay Miss Everything na kailangan hindi lang isa yung ibinibigay mo oh. pero lahat ng kaya mong ibigay sa laro. You have to wait for the whistle. Ito naman si Kim Fardo, nabati lang. <laughs> Nag-serve na agad. <laughs> Here we go. D-Mac to Micah, Expania Express. Gonna score that time. Alessi with that arm swing, denied. Cruz, the chase down. Kuler Khan off the block. And Killer Khan with a finish. Nicely done there. A good setup again by Kim Fajardo. Siyempre, pag magandang set at dinabas yung bola, Kuler Khan is gonna do something with that ball. Kim Fajardo back to serve. Pabalion really doing an excellent job protecting the floor. Liz Kuler Khan as well. Liz gets it back down the line. Shot is good. Alam mo, hot ngayon si Liz Kuler Khan. Tuloy-tuloy ang mga puntos na binibigay sa kanya. But I think Kim Fajardo has to distribute her sets. Although hot siya, high percentage scorer, uh, babantayan na si Kuler Khan ng RC Raiders. So she has to distribute her sets. Angled service by Kim. Doesn't go anywhere. If that had gone in, it would have been a very difficult first ball to receive. Michael Ortiz to serve for the RC Cola Air Force. This again from a different direction. Pa open, okay, dun sa cuatro, sa kabilang side. She goes cross court, she goes down the line. That's why kailangan the blockers are attentive. Puti na lang, out of bounds yun. Kaya puntos para sa RC Cola. Pero ngayon, makibalita tayo kay Mitchell Carter. James and Chicky, malaki nga ang kumpiyansa ng Miralco coach Ramil sa kanyang local players. Umaasa siya sa kanyang local players na sila ang magdadala sa kanilang floor defense and high energy na na-absorb na ng parehong um, imports niya for today si Alessi and Cooler Khan. That's why they owe their impressive game, especially si Alessi for the past week to their teammates. Mas ginaganahan daw sila dahil sa positive energy na pinibigay ng locals in and outside the court. Now, on the other end, RC head coach Bill Verayo hopes to see a different morale from his girls. Napapansin niya raw na mostly pressured daw yung kanyang players for no reason. Today, he hopes that the girls will just enjoy and lose it up in the game. Balik sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Michelle Carmen, and a point for Miralco as uh, that point of spike in the antenna. Ito nga kailangan when RC Cola plays, dapat mas relaxed. Kasi kung hindi na re-restrict yung movements nila eh, and tuloy, pag-restricted yung movements, yung errors are, being, are basic errors. Linda Morales with authority. You know, that ball was really so close to the net, but Linda Morales loved it. There goes that first ball, the setup. There goes that killer. So, Arma Clinton at the service line. Naplatay dito for all, but as I say that, he commits the service error. Balikan lamang, so the power spike. In the first, the first time that they met, Arsicola won the first set. Dito naman, nanalo ang Meralco. So tingnan natin kung mahuko ng Arsicola itong second set. Better service reception for Arsicola Air Force, and that's what they can do when they have a good first ball. That's right, and when you set that up in the middle, napakaganda ng play del mabilis. All tied up once again, five ball. Kimmy, a special delivery for Tina Alessi, who scores with a check ball. Yeah, that was nicely done. Yeah, and the distribute new sets to Kim Fajardo. The lethal lefty, Christina Alessi, to serve. 
Morales again, but Makandili, good coverage at the back line. Ulercan, the attack not over. Yeah, yung ball, yung pag hit niya kasi ng bola, parang hinabul niya eh, yung bola. Kaya, ang pagsak nun, diretso sa net. There goes her ritual for dribbles. As she walks to her point, dribbles it eight times, and then serves. Cha Cruz, cross court. Morales is there to dig it up. Caballejo. Cruz again. Good coverage by McClinton. Uy, miscommunication between Morales and McClinton. Sneak attack, Kim, doesn't work. Caballero hahatao. And she will get the finish. That's a good hit there from Caballero, the team captain. Much needed encouragement for the team. And that's what you've been talking about, staying within that point. And just looking for that opportunity to put the ball away. Could be a start of something good. Uh, it's uh, RC Kula Air Force. Seven serving six. And hey, a service ace for the RC Cola Air Force, and they were and they will head into the first technical timeout with a two point lead, eight to six. So far, that has been clicking. The Itasati second set, they are up by two. Oh, Kim had to adjust. The chance ball given up. First ball again, again, problem ng Miralco. Caballejo couldn't finish. Kim again had to chase. Cruz off the block. Trying to get a check ball, but good coverage by McClinton. Caballejo over the defense, dug up. Baron with a parent bomb. Nanita mo yung si Kim Pardo when she was about to set that ball up. Tinina niya talaga kung kanina niya bibigay. Baron was there, so she gave it. Look at that. Look. Kimmy creates, and the parent bomb detonates. Nicely done. And that will send Majoy Baron to the service line. Chance to equalize para sa Miralka Power Spikers. Sometimes, because when you know when the attendant wipes the floor, there's a lot of time that lapses, and you're already ready to serve. So, you can get the momentum. That's why you have to keep moving. Game to Mika this time. Morales keeps it up. And they give it up. They give it back. Game for Hardo. Finds an angle. And then, you know what? He gave Pajardo, and then he took the same McBain gun. She tried to put that ball back into the court of Meralco. Kaya na, ganda nung angle ng bola ni Pajardo, na outside yung bola. Eight, serving nine. Jack Cruz to serve, but it's a power spikers. And serves him an ace. Yun yung sinasabi ni Coach Ben eh. Yung mga mistakes na nangyayari sa Raiders, basic, like that. Communication lang yun eh. Same mind, moving. Three attacks, two blocks, and an ace. Well, this everything, everything, Chuck Cruz. Kapaleo that time receives better. McClinton, the attack, not over. Again, ang basa ko doon, hinabol lang niya yung ball eh. She really stretched her arm to hit that ball because nauna yung talon niya eh. And Meralco overtaking R.C. Cola, 10 to serve 9. Si May Ann Pantino babalik para kay Judy Caballejo. But this time, a just denied. Again, it was Kim Fajardo who blocked that ball. They were ready for the balls of uh, RC Raiders. And the Taft Tower 
denying entrance, Sarah McClinton. Not today. The play at that time, and sabi nga ni Coach Bill, one good receive, and then itawag ni Bimakulangan si Linda Morales because magandang laro ngay ni Linda Morales and she's got a really powerful arm. So let's see if that's going to be executed. Let's see if DMAC can make the necessary adjustments as Cha Cruz is back on deck to serve. Easy over on that one. DMAC back set. Ortiz with a finish. And ang, that's the Expanya Express connection. Ang ganda nung ginawa ni, ni Ortiz. You know, yun nga eh, kailangan mabigyan talaga si Ortiz still when you give her that back set. Look at this. She goes to that running hit. Favorite of yours. Ang bilis ng kamay niya. Ang bilis ng bola niya. Walang nagawa yung blockers ng Meralco. Kim to Liss. Cross court. Babalik nila ang bola. Golden chance for the power spikers. This cooler can off the combination. No go. Kim Fajardo again. An angle. That's good. Yung mga tip-overs ni Kim Fajardo, maganda kasi hindi diretsong likod lang niya. Ina-angle niya. A different type of special delivery. Ganda. Look at that. Oh, alam niya walang tao dun eh. So dun niya ginaw, binagsak yung bola. The creative Kim Fajardo on deck to serve. Chance given up. Back set. Alessi swings, but too strong. Maganda sana yun. Maganda yung up ng bola. It was a good first ball, good setup. Just too powerful. Alessi knew it. Kaya, para to sa RC Kula, babalik sa tapat. Ito si Linda Morales. Dama naman yung uh, front line. McClinton, Yonko, and Morales this time. Liss will get it off the blocker. At least there was the effort there from Pantino to run after and try and save that second ball. Two-point lead para sa Meralco Power Spikers. And Mika Reyes on deck to serve. Yeah, yeah, with a good sharp service. She sets it up. Cortina Alessi! Ang ganda ng off speed hit ni Alessi. Pinasa niya yung defense ng Arcicola. Malayo yung libero sa puesto niya. Look at this. She goes up. Off speed. Iniwasan yung blockers. Yes. Nicely done. Goes over the blockers. Side of her arms. Ganda ng angle. Taft Tower with the service. Again, problematic first ball and Reyes ever dangerous from the service line. Malakas din kasi pag serve dun si Reyes, tsaka mabigat yung bola niya. Kaya mahirap yung receive. So, uh, Arcicola has to come up with a formation that can receive the services of Mika Reyes. 15 serving 11. McClinton off the block. Sabi ni McClinton, okay, I've got those errors up, so now I have to do an, uh, an offensive point here for R.C. Cole, and she does it. You know, some of the reinforcements uh, talaga napakalakas umataw. Kung blocker ka, Chiki, anong adjustments yung gagawin mo kung talagang hahataw ng tulad ng ganun si Sarah McClinton? Kailangan lang talaga yung timing ng talon ko as a blocker is perfect. Tsaka yung kamay ko nakapayong over the net. Another pattern bomb, kept alive. A chance ball given up. Kim backs it. Alessi the shot. No finish. 
Linda Morales running attack is good. Ang maganda rin kasi dito kay Linda Morales, she jumps high, she hits the ball hard, kay yung mga blockers kapag tips na lang ng fingers nila ang tumatama dun sa bola, mahirap na isave. 13 serving 15. And that error will send Meralco into the second technical timeout with a three-point lead, 16 to 13. But they're creating points for themselves as well for the team. Also uh, evident is the improved floor defense. Yes. Makandili has been playing well. Yes, I agree. Right on cue, Makandili keeps it alive. Alessi adjusts. Cruz goes long, but too long. So they're asking for a touch there from Arcicola, but none, is, none, none was given. Joy Cases will make her first appearance in this game. Sama na si Wendy Semana na magsasub para kay Ia Yonko at kay Rhea Di Pakulangan. That uh, front uh, court rotation still dangerous with Linda Morales down there. Yeah, and since your setter is the server, you've got three uh, front hitters there. Joy Casas, matindig kumano ko. Kim, the setup. Cruz, the windup, cross court. But dug up. Pagkakataon na naman para sa power spikers. Majoy Baron goes down the line. Ang ganda ng ginagawa ni Dawn Makandili kasi she takes control of the back line. And a three-point lead for Meralco as we hear from Mitch Del Carmen. James, and Chiki, napansin nga natin na ever since ng game ng RC versus Meralco, medyo mas bumaba yung energy na pinapakita ng import na si Linda Morales. At dahil nga sa international ruling na hindi siya pwede masyado magsay out of control during a point one, medyo mas nag-tone down itong si Linda. She, however, tells me that her eye energy still stays the same. Para nga sa RC coach Bill, Linda continues to be the source of hype for the team. Now with her outstanding game, Meralco's way of stopping Morales is simply starting with a strong service para daw mas bumaba yung chances na bayuin ni Morales ang kanyang mga spikes. James and Chiki. Excellent report from Mitchell Carmen. Uh, scouting report kung paano gustong pigilan ni Coach Ramil De Jesus at Meralco yung uh, lakas ng uh, pagpalo ni Linda Morales. Oh, kailangan talaga you come up with plays to stop Linda Morales because if she gets away, talaga namang killer ang kanyang mga bola. 15, serving 17. Baron tips it over. Si Baron ang pines kung kumilos, pero napaka smart ng mga galaw niya. Very well calculated. She goes up for that regalo and pushes it down hard. Walang nagawa floor defense ng RC Kona. Ito si Majoy Paron, talagang ang laki ng iniangat ng daro game after game dito that's sa right. Philippine Super League Grand Prix. I really uh, agree. That's also my observation. The double block form by Meralco and Meralco will score off of that violation. Yes, si Wendy Simana kasi, yung pinabo niya yung bola, the ball stayed more than a few seconds on her hand. On her hands, kaya parang sinalo niya talaga yung bola. Serving 15, Baron back on deck. Back, not over. Hindi maganda kasi yung first ball din. Kaya ba ito, may nahirapan si Simana to set that up. At pag hindi na maganda yung first ball, chances are, hindi maganda yung second ball, delikado yung attack. Five-point lead para sa Miralco Power Spikers. Good play denied. And Mika Reyes again protecting the net. The coach Bill wants to talk things over dahil namamaga at lumalaki ang lamang ng Miralco Power Spikers. 
So Coach Vail was just reminding everybody, first ball, reception. Kailangan may reception, kundi walang attack. Take advantage of the situation. Walang import sa kalaban sa harap. Walang import sa harap. So gusto niya makita yung bola kay Micah Ortiz. So let's see if that's gonna happen. Four points away from taking set number two and possibly two sets to nothing advantage of Meralco. Marcy Cola, though, with this lineup on the floor, can explode and score in punches. We'll see. He has to start with a good reception. Ortiz running attack, too strong. She's under the ball. Oh, the point will go to RC Cola. Because uh, there was a touch, said the first referee. Although Miralco is saying there was no touch. And Cruz... Uh, I thought that ball was quite high. Definitely uh, arguing her case. Uh, the bottom line is, the ball will stay. Yeah. The mga breaks of the game, uh, you just have to shake it off. Sid Demesillo, good a score. Ortiz this time, trying to power through. Sid from the back. Yoko keeps it up. McClinton. Oh, Sid, another good save. Cruz rises, but blocked away. So here, Kilanga mental toughness has to play strong with Meralco. No, they're leading 21 to 17, but Arcegol is inching their way up. I think he's a young woman, but signals to her teammates that I'm okay. Yeah, may yung right knee kasi niya masakit eh, and her right arm. Kanina tinitape yan heavily. Ortiz again! And powers through! So that ball stays with RC Cola because there was a touch, said the referee. Tulad nga ko, RC Cola is a team that can score in punches and can score in a hurry as Coach Ramil sues for time. So Coach Ramil was just reminding Mika, Mika, sorry, Mika Reyes, na kung magda drop ball siya, wag sa tao ibigay, wag malayo, kasi easy ball yon. So kailangan sa harap, sharp. Tapos uh, reminding also Kim Fajardo that when she comes up with a place, bigyan niya ng uh, magandang setup ang dos. So tingnan natin. Oh, Sid could not handle it. Not the best way to come off a timeout. Para sa Meralco. Yun kasi pag sabay kayo nag-mine, kailangan mag-mine ulit. At kung sino yung last na nagsabing mine sa kanya pupunta yung bola. Better na ganun kesa nagtitinginan. Oh, that's really long. Meralco will try to capitalize on this next sequence. Jack Cruz back on deck to serve para sa Miralco Power Spike. Well, Clinton wasn't ready. Jim looking for an option. Finds Mika Reyes. There you go. If you've got a good first ball, go to the middle. Ganda ng palo ni Mika Reyes. Walang tao, just like what Coach Ramil said. 
And a very aggressive number three. Don't mess with me, Reyes. Big smile from her. D-Mac to Sarah McClinton. Good save by Cha. Mika again, but denied. Another chance for Semiraco. Liss with the push. Yonko keeps it alive. Ortiz trying to hammer it home, denied. McClinton this time blocked away. Kita mo yung talon ni Fajardo, ni Mika, but the first referee said that there was an infraction again. So the ball goes to Arcicola. Sayang, sabi na ni Kim Fajardo. Oh, laki ng smile niya. Ganda sana ng block niya. Three-point ball game, 20 to serve 23. And point again, para sa RC Cola Air Force. So now, kailangan ang Meralco to calm down, get their groove back. Makita natin si Kim Fajardo saying, okay, okay, let's set this up right, let's stay calm, play our game. Hello. And maybe a little guidance from the sidelines. Mula kay Coach Romil De Jesus. Ito, sabi nga ni Coach Romil kay Makandili, taas lang ang bola, taas lang. So, and then mentioning na isang point na lang, malayo na sila. Because, alam mo yun, James, na kapag pumasok ka ng 24, parang mas kampante ka na na you'll get the set. And I think that's exactly what Coach Ramil was saying. Isang punto na lang, 24 na, malayo na. Contact the service, Rhea de Makulangan, mula sa RC Cola. A two-point ball game, 21 to serve 23. Meralco would like to establish some distance. RC Cola would like nothing more than to take set number two. Ulerkan tried to power through, but that one not over. RC Cola now within a point. And the RC Cola not giving up. Mental toughness comes into play here. Mac with a chance to equalize. Well, commits an error, and now we are at set point in set number two. This is going to be relatively easy already for Meralco, especially since Fajardo has been scoring from the service zone. So, kailangan is stop ng Arcicola ang pag serve nito ni Fajardo. Strong front line for Meralco with Reyes, Alessi, and Kulurkan. McClinton, I'm strong too, and I will power through. Nicely done by McClinton. Keeps the team alive in this set. And the Jayhawk from Kansas University flying high, hitting hard. The blockers had a gap there. They were too far apart. Cruz had to dive. Ularkan, but couldn't finish. Sarah McClinton, again! Ang ganda nung setup nila. Teamwork brings in the point. All tied up, 24 all. It will be an extended second set. And Sarah McClinton, without warning or mercy, puts it the ball away. Mika Reyes, too strong. And RC Cola with the lead. Ang laki ng hinabol ng RC Cola, kaya itong Meralco they have to get their acts together. Has to be with a good first ball. Kulerkan off the block. It is outside, off the block. Kaya nga dito sa Meralco yung bola. Napaka-exciting. Ngayon naman, 25 all na. Of course, we expected this, right? So, let's see. Good serve. 
Dimac throws it all the way across. Scored to Sarah McClinton. Sarah McClinton, sunod-sunod ang mga puntos na binibigay sa RC Cola. Walang tao dun sa zone 6, kaya bumagsak ang bola sa Meralco. Set point para sa RC Cola Air Force. Kim, back set. Kulerkan puts it down. Nakakatakot kasi dito sa Meralco, yung mga palo ni Kulerkan. Ngayon, she's at the back line now. But now they have to contend with Alessi's hits. Of course, malakas din ang frontliner ng Meralco because Chuck Cruz and Baron are there. Good reception. Morales. Good ups by Kim. Back attack. Kulor Khan puts, it, puts the ball away. And a one-point lead para sa Meralco. Ang ganda ng teamwork na pinakita ng Meralco with that first ball from Kim Fajardo na gawa ng paraan to set the ball up for Kulor Khan. Set point this time for Meralco. Almost but not quite from the service line. Off speed, goes out of bounds, and Meralco with a two sets to nothing lead. 28 to 26, surviving that terrifying run.